Yeah. All right, well. Oh, wait, he's staying Mewtwo. He's staying Mewtwo. And Kamehameha's going sheep. What? Yeah. It's Smash this is a straight Smash 4 matchup right here. Except it's on PS2. This page will never be played in Smash 4. <laughs> uh, yeah. Those, <laughs> those are good times, right? Like stage transformations? Yeah. Do you ever miss those? I miss Smash Bill <laughs> a lot. That's probably the, the transformation that people got robbed on the most. You realize that? I mean, it hasn't changed in this game. <laughs> You have to do a Master Mario combo with people to death on that stage. <laughs> either, either here nor there. Let's see uh, what these Mewtwo can do. I mean, oh. against Puppe, like, man, his Mewtwo is moving. Like, he, he was pulling out some sick combinations. Like, they looked straight out there from the previous game. Yeah, honestly. The thing that trips me up with Wadi's uh, Mewtwo so far is that sliding like dashing down tilt because he like slides a little bit and yeah, still yeah. extends the tail. It's really deceptive. I think the only thing they've changed with Mewtwo so far in this game is, uh, oh, damn, Ooh. that was so close, is they finally reduced his tail uh, herd box by a little bit. Oh, jeez. That's what a big thing they did in this game that made a lot of people just not want to play Mewtwo because you can just like hit his tail from like a mile away and then you just die to so many things. The fact that like his tail during majority of the moves had an active hurt box yeah. is, is kind of uh, hard to deal with. But that's one way to deal with it is just, you know, bouncing fish. Yeah. Bouncing Nair fish. bouncing fish. Nair yeah. bouncing fish. The classic. Now Kamei actually has pretty uh, good results with his sheep even in this game, which uh, really impresses me. Cause uh, you know, a lot of people just don't really like Sheik in this game. Well, she definitely wasn't as strong at the start of Smash Ultimate, but after the patches, she's a lot better. Yeah, I, I agree. I would uh, love to see uh, Void come back to this character. Still a really uh, cool character to watch. And uh, not completely, you know, useless in the metagame as uh, you can see right now. Yeah. Mm. At the same time, like, I don't know. I feel like if you want to go out with Sheik, you might as well pick Joker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Honestly, but at the same yeah. time, I, I feel like Sheik is going to become a great counterfeit character. There's going to be certain matchups where, you know, a rush down and very fast attacks, good frame data are going to be the advantage that you want. And that's where Sheik's going to come in. Ooh, oh, I thought that was Even the traps smash. like that! Down oh, tilt man. to up smash still being a trap. Woo. Yeah, down tilt is uh, really good for Sheik in this game, especially tipper down tilt. You can get so many kill confirms. Oh, I thought the needles would have a little bit more lag, but Mewtwo very close to dying here. Actually, so is Sheik. I forgot how light she is. Yeah, don't forget that up throw. We have a max rage Wadi, so that up throw is Smash Pokemon Stadium too. That's Wadi's def or uh, Kamehameha is in danger. Oh, and he's playing po so patiently though. He wants to pop him up to on the platform with the needles. Dash attack still doesn't kill Mewtwo. It's unfortunate. That okay. fair is not killing either. Mm -mm. But I mean, let's face it, that fair has never killed. Yeah, you're right. Well, <laughs> melee did. Melee, but you know, we don't talk about melee. <laughs> <laughs> that was a completely different beast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he died. At, a, he, he was doing such a good job of avoiding everything on the last stock, and then he just got fared once. Mm -hmm. That revenge kill just came out so quick from Wadi. But Kameme. Ooh, big hits. Yep, racking up damage. As you can see the ledge trap continue, but a big down tilt from Wadi's gonna come and clutch. Oh my goodness, he wasn't able to get the drag down up there to connect because of the platform. Okay, fair. Bouncing fish gonna miss. Oh, great frame traps coming from Kameme. Oh, that bouncing fish a little bit too slow. But that combo not working out for Wadi. I mean, that's such a great combo breaker coming from Wadi. You know, if you're getting smothered and your opponent's just jumping all around you, just throw out a hitbox that covers every area. Front, back, side to side. Oh, he got the... Oh, man, that Nair is not what it used to be. Oh, that was so scary. He could have gotten up smash. Okay. Where is Wadi going to go here? He's been stuck at the ledge for quite a bit. He could have died, actually, I think. Could have down to up smash to him because he had no invincibility on the ledge anymore. Yeah, but I think Kamehame was really just trying to, you know, play the play the patient game. Let's just be reaction to what Wadi is going to be putting out. Ledge Trump attempt, and uh, Wadi's able oh, to escape. Nair bouncing, or needle bouncing fish. Still works. Damn, that move is still so cool. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice stuff. 
and cover so much range too. Like hit confirm from like half screen away. That's crazy. And it shoots at an angle, yeah. which let's face it, in this game is not something that a lot of characters can do or people can punish. So like, like, you're not punching <laughs> those thunder jolts, like <laughs> you're not punching that jump thunder jolt, man. Or our jump needles. Okay, or the Yehas or Ehas. Oh yeah. Well, it doesn't really go at like the same angle as like Thunder Jolt or Needles, but it's still really annoying, especially mm -hmm. in uh, the boosted one, Aegon. Aegon. Joker's so crazy. I'm so glad he's in this game, though. Anyway, <laughs> Sheik's here. <laughs> Sheik. I, I miss Wadi's Mewtwo a lot, or any Mewtwo, so I I'm glad that he's playing him. And I've seen quite a bit of Sheik because I've always been playing him a little bit more, mm -hmm. and uh, Kamehameha still plays him, so... Uh, yeah, I know a lot of what she can do in this game, but uh, I don't know, it's really cool to see. It's because, I don't know, people forgot about these characters, and they used to be really cool in the last game. Yeah, the, the combo-centric characters that they were kind of disappeared uh, in the beginning of Smash Ultimate, but thanks to, thanks to the power of patches, they're slowly coming back. Yes. Yeah, I definitely hope uh, this isn't the last we see of Wise Misu, but damn, it might be because Kameme is smothering this man. He is not letting him play the video game. Oh my gosh. Wow, Perry, but the Nair's still active, so going to get a trade. Needles to Bouncing Fish again, but not going to kill from center stage. And Wadi taking his time, actually charging the Shadow Ball as he fell. So I don't know if Kameme uh, caught sight of that. No oh way, what? Oh my god, he only needed two Needles to connect. That Bouncing Fish went so deep. Damn, that was such a good snipe. I don't know why I'm surprised. I saw, oh. I've seen that for days and days. <laughs> it was such a good snipe, though. It was a very good snipe. Wow, Nair tripped. I didn't know I could do that. The yeah, unfortunate why you... thing about that, though, is like Nair tripping is that you're still kind of stuck in your animation and your commitment to Nair. Yeah, you can't, you can't really actually, convert. Yeah, <laughs> you can't actually <laughs> do anything. Back throw? That's what I'm thinking. Back throw yeah. and no, no amount of DI is going to save Kamehameha right there. Yeah, Sheik way too light. Some characters could live that. I'm not mm -hmm. Sheik. Definitely, 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 definitely. Um, Damn. Hey, it's moving. I love his beer versus needles. Oh, did I get the cross-up roll? Oh, oh I thought that was going to be down there. It wouldn't kill that person. But if he had no jump, eh, maybe. I mean, if the, no, the that, first I forgot that, that up B, that up B with Sheik is crazy. I forgot. I feel like he could have thrown out another down air if he landed the first one, though, and try and, like, challenge the Vanish coming back. Oh, you think that would work? It would be hard. It would be hard. But it's it's Wadi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, charging Shadow Ball. And we see Kamehameha playing very patient, just uh, making sure that Kamehameha, Wadi is the one that needs to approach. Yeah, he's, uh, oh, damn. Ooh. He rolled into that one. I was going to say that Kamehameha recognizes the threat of Rage Mewtwo in this situation as a light character, so he's not trying to overextend. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice punch the roll. Oh, my God, get off that platform, man. Oh, that but the last hit in air connects. Oh, and that down to oh the trade, but it goes oh. to Wadi's favor. Damn. What a call out, dude. <laughs> that down smash actually has so little in lag. Like, it's crazy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just a single nair from the, uh, the disable. Damn, he's going in. Yep. Maybe Able to convert. Oh, that still works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know I'm that still kills in this game. I like how this character is supposed to be weaker, but it seems like the kill confirms are almost exactly the same. Uh, they have some things that still work. Like uh, fairing across stage. Yeah, it's not <laughs> as, it doesn't do it like nearly as much damage though. I mean it, it did twenty three damage, which I'm pretty sure it did in this last game. Fair string? Uh, yeah, fair string did a total of 23 from one, one side to the other. The corner carry. <laughs> yeah, I Maybe guess it that's did more damage this time. Uh, <laughs> I, I know it does like potentially like 2% sometimes. It's kind of crazy. I like the low oh, profile. Oh, that pivot yeah. grab. Mm -hmm. Is he gone? No, oh, not yet, not yet. Very close though. Not enough rage on Wadi to make that actually kill at this percent. Bye bye. Another back up throw? Yes, that's going to do it. Yo, the Mewtwo came back. Damn. Oh, one. Nice. One. Smash 4. Smash 4 set. Good times. Good times. 
It was actually a really fun matchup in Smash 4, honestly. I loved watching Wadi and uh, Awadango versus Void. So fun. It was a lot of fun just because we both know, like, how how one hit could easily turn into, like, yeah. 10. Yeah, yeah. They both combo each other so hard. And they both are like characters, so they could actually, like, kill mm -hmm. each other really early. Okay. Let's see. Bring it back to PS2. Oh, Ooh, getting hit by the Vance. Oh, the another upbeat. one. Damn, a nice confusion. He was getting kind of blown up. Why are you doing a great job of using confusion just to stall? <gasps> what? <laughs> what? What was that? <laughs> what? She just exploded. I mean, I know it's supposed to happen, but dude, that looked like that didn't it wasn't supposed to connect like that. Like that was such a late fair. <laughs> Was he really stuck in hits on that entire? I, I don't no believe way. that. There's no way. No, I think Kamami just didn't think he would hit that. Damn, that was crazy. Well, okay. going for these down tilt into up smashes, whiffing the up smash. Oh, he's dead. Over. Going so deep, needles <laughs> bouncing fish. That's so good. Such a good snipe from Kamami. Oh, nice bouncing fish. He almost got hit off his double jump with another back air, and probably would have died in that situation. Okay, approaching with Nair, but again, using that confusion just to stall out with this. Even applying pressure at Kamehameha, like, while he's in shield. So it gives that feeling of, like, you're never safe, even in your own shield. Wow, he actually crouched the confusion this time. <laughs> he's like, all right, I'm not blocking this anymore. <laughs> and that's kind of what we saw at the end of, like, game two, is that Kamehameha started resorting more to, like, low profiling than actually shielding. I mean, it, it actually deals with a lot of Mewtwo stuff, it seems. Up smash? No, nope. mm -hmm. faded back. I don't think diamond cutter would have been enough. Hard to say. No, I feel like uh, why he's gotta be careful if mm -hmm. Kamehameha does start calling out these. Oh, jeez. Ow. Yes, Kamehameha. Committing to a jump himself. Yeah. Getting called out by a forward air of uh, Wadi. Damn, why is Mewtwo is impressive? What took so long for him to pull this out, man? What happened? Uh, I he was going to weep it. No, Rob Remember was that? just, you know, just so much easier. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. He took so much damage, dude. Shadow Ball Fair is still crunchy, but me too. Oh. Let's, be, let's be honest. You know, when Wadi was experimenting with Weep It Trainer, uh, Mewtwo was not the character he is right now. Yeah, that's true. Oh, a lot of shield damage, but a drag down there. Oh, Whoa! my God. Calls out the spot dodge with down Dude, smash. Wadi's so good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Yo, that was straight DBZ. Like, I'm sending you to a different Damn. dimension. Bam. That down smash is... That, I don't know why they decided to buff that move, but... Damn. I bet why he's glad they did. <laughs> I'm glad they did. <laughs> that was hype. <laughs> that was actually sick. <laughs> is it Mega Man time? No way. Stick it out. You can do it, Kamehameha. Oh, Kamehameha's Joker. <laughs> Dude, you, you called it. You just... <laughs> you just... You know what? Upgrade. Time to hit the upgrade button. <laughs> upgrade. <laughs> Arsene, help. <laughs> okay, well, let's see if Arsene is the... the Just a little bit extra X Factor that Kamehameha needs to come over, overcome Wadi. I've seen Kamehameha's Joker, like, one time. And one time only. Did and, it it did, and it didn't win. Oh, okay. But usually all of the characters he decides to pick are, are good in some way. But I don't know if he's good enough to beat Wadi, because Wadi's Mewtwo looks on point. Like, this is Fuego. Yeah, it is. But, but now we see 40% Arson yeah, showing up. Yeah, Arson's like, yo, you need my help, man? I got you. <laughs> let, me just, let me just even the game up real quick. Yo, summon your stand. Oh, yeah, you trying to camp Shadow Balls? Yeah. Let me just use my better projectile. <laughs> it's fine. And he has a counter when Arsene is out, too. So yeah, Shadow he's like, Ball. oh, yeah. You, I'm actually just going to Oh, wait. Wait, they can both do it. <laughs> wait, wait, hold this up. <laughs> I forgot they both can <laughs> reflect. This matchup just became that much more technical. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> and, oh, that's the to... other thing. Joker won't be really able to, like, utilize gut. No way. Okay. Oh, yeah, Joker's God. not going to be able to utilize gun off stage to really gimp Wadi because... He like goes intangible and invisible, and teleports with a B. Uh, the re reappearing though can definitely get caught by the guns. So Wadi still has to recover intelligently, but it won't be as free as mm -hmm. most characters. Okay, Aha's coming out. 
Oh, oh. no, it be. So many good shield options coming out from both players, and you can see like just the match of chess that's starting to come out between these two. Yeah, they really want to get that first hit. And oh, oh wow. Makara Karn, <laughs> so powerful! That Shadow Ball uh, erased Mewtwo. That was crazy. Straight disappeared. Damn. He knew it was coming. I mean, that was a really good tech chase situation for that Wadi put Kameme in. So. Ooh. Yeah, he had to like fastball slightly to avoid the Shadow Ball, but it's Joker, so he can come back. Mm -hmm. Good back air out of shield into a jab, one, two, three. Wadi, yeah, Wadi, uh, Wadi kind of chilling out the Damn, he caught the jump back again. He was already fading back on his jump, so his DI was bad when he got hit by a four air. Uh, still going to have to do quite a bit to bring this one back. This isn't going to be easy. Joker is not easy to hit. That's true, but we, you know, Joker's oh, meter really only halfway right now. So good. The combos are coming out. Oh, being able to low profile the disable and approach and throw out a move at the same time. Yeah. Down tilt looking really, uh, like a like really good tool against here. Against me too. Oh, our sin up smash is so hard. Like, it, you can't cross up his shield in that tilt. He actually just up smashes you for free a lot of times. So you can't cross him up with Nair. You can't try and down tilt him. You can't throw out Shadow Ball. Arsene's good, man. Like, <laughs> I don't know his choice. Like, what is the approach here? <laughs> sometimes it's just like, Force him right. in the shield and grab him. All right, you have to have, have really on-point aggressive options, and then once you hit him when he has Arsene, just don't stop hitting him, or you just try to run away. Hey, you know, the it, limit option, all right. I, I mean, it. and I say running away, I was like, it sounds easy, but you actually, it's actually really hard to run away from this character, too, because he has a really good projectile on Arsene. Really good projectile. He's fast. He has, like, no, ways no. to kill you early if you try to, like, corner yourself by going to the edge of the stage. Sounds like there uh, aren't a lot of good options when Arsene's out, yeah. especially for a light, big character like me, too. Yeah. It's kind of rough. Interesting. Okay. But game five. That's I really game. would love to see uh, Wadi get a chance against Shutan uh, since he hasn't got to play him yet. But uh, Kameme here, that Joker swap looking really strong. I'll, I'll be okay if uh, Kameme wins, if he continues to go Joker against Shutan. I don't think he's going to do it, but that's my condition. Mm. Oh, so scary. I'm uh, saying this for Wadi. You're very brave to fight Arsene as <laughs> Mewtwo right now. Well, I think that's what he's going for. Like He's just trying to pressure uh, Kameme with movement and then use the multi-hit of the forward throw to really eat up meter because doesn't uh, Joker lose meter every single time he gets hit? Yes. Big bad Arsene's gone, but Mewtwo's so light that Joker can kill without him at this point. Ooh, that's like the that. Get up. The ledge trap getting caught by the back air oh. from Kamehameha. Ooh, calling out a roll with the down smash, but just mistiming it. Nope. Another <laughs> roll. <laughs> I would have rolled into that. I'm not. I'm being honest, I would have rolled into that. <laughs> Pairing and trying to just continue his approach against Kameme. Why do you seem to have a little trouble getting in and opening up? Yeah, Kameme is playing defense really well right now. Still living, and Arson's coming real soon. I think Wadi might be looking for the up throw here. 135, I believe you're right. But Arson uh -oh. is almost out. Do you really want to wait that long? He might have no choice at this point. Arsene's going to come back with the slightest touch. Hey, it looks like while he's trying oh. to attempt these tomahawks, okay. but just gets a grab, punishing the gun. Bruh, he had to kill him with throw there, because if he hit him with anything that didn't kill, Arsene was coming back. Uh, okay, what is Wadi going to do to bring this one back? Like, he's, I don't know, he's just, like you said, struggling to approach Joker right now. And he just hasn't really been able to capitalize on the hits he is able to get. Mm -hmm. And it's just, you know, amazing DI that's coming out from Kameme. Kameme making great use of the platforms. Uh, and at the same time, 
continues to pop out of these nares as well. Oof. Wow. Oh, okay, yeah, that's man. gonna take he the didn't stock. even need arson. So now he gets the snowball arson at low percent in the next stock with a two stock advantage. I mean, that's even a, a scarier situation because being out of low percent against arson, this means that you could, in fact, get like racked up damage on and then die at 50 to down air up smash. Yeah. Some crazy stuff like that. I've seen it kill like at 60 against zero suit. I'm pretty sure zero suit's heavier than you two. <laughs> There, see a double up air, but the, the second up air is going to whip. Fast fall, Nair not going to work. Oof. Oh, this is this is really bad for Wadi. He's gonna go for the down at the ledge. What's he going? What is he doing? Come here, man, you're crazy. <laughs> I <laughs> thought he was just gonna up smash him, honestly. <laughs> okay, well, Arsen is gone now. Kamehameha's, or Kamehameha's is gonna be on the defense once again. Wadi has to go so hard now. Like, he has to take advantage of the situation he has with no Arsen. And there it is. Only 91. This isn't impossible. He can. He's going to have to deal with Arsene uh, at least once this stock. At least once, unless he makes like some type of crazy play against Kamehame. But with the way Kamehame's defense has been, I don't see that happening. Oh, one air dodge. Oh man. He really seems to really be messing up. Uh, messing up Wadi. Okay, okay. big damage. Yeah, expecting a roll. Oh, nice. Got the cross up back air. Oh, good punish, but Arsene's here. Arsene is here. Big oh, bad what Arsene. Gonna do? Here to end the game. But let's see if he's able to. Kamehameha, his hands are glowing, but is he brave enough? Oh, oh he shot it. Oh my god, why do he have a place so safe? Oh, he what? ran into Vega and he didn't know it was over. Okay, good air dodge. Avoiding that, that side B. A lot of back airs. Oh, it's back air from Arsene. What do you do? You're so big with Mewtwo. How do you do? How do you deal with that move I mean, in the that's, corner? That's really difficult for a lot of characters. Yeah.